Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome to Inferno Kun, and we have some first details about Batman, the Telltale series. This includes some screenshots, as well as some details about, you know, casting and what the game's gonna be about. So, first we have the logo here, Batman, the Telltale series, looking pretty cool as well, to say the least. And moving on, we have Batman and the lovely Selena Kyle, or Catwoman. Glad she's gonna be in the game because she's probably one of my favorite DC characters. She's just so awesome and lovely. So, Batman and Selena Kyle. As you guys probably know, Catwoman is kind of a love interest for Batman, or she flirts with him a lot. A lot. So, yeah, she she's very seductive to Batman, and interesting to see how that plays out with, with me behind that control. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Of course, it will be a five episode season and come out this summer as well, of course. And moving on, the screenshot we have is Bruce Wayne in the Wayne Manor with a picture of Martha and Thomas Wayne and little Bruce Wayne in the background. I gotta say, the graphics of this game looks pretty smooth. It looks pretty good. So I'm excited to see what kind of changes they made to the, the lighting. As you can see here, it looks pretty awesome. I mean... The, the, the one in the city looks pretty good as well. I mean, I'm loving the art style of this game. It's very comic booky. I mean, obviously, that's how Toto makes their games, but this one seems a bit extra comic booky. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one we have of the Batmobile and Batman standing in the Batcave. The Batmobile is looking slick as I don't know what. It's looking pretty good. And of course, I am excited to go ahead and control this thing driving throughout Gotham City in some kind of criminal chase, that would be cool as well. Now let's go ahead and move on to the last screenshot we have of Bruce Wayne standing behind the Bat computer. You can see the symbol, the Batmobile, and all kinds of epic stuff. I wonder what we can actually do on the Bat computer whenever we get the chance to play with it and see what we can do with that thing because the Bat computer is a lovely piece of technology that Batman has and I'm excited to see basically what we can do with it but let's go ahead and move on to the casting of voice actors we have for the characters of course the amazing and talented Troy Baker will be voicing Bruce Wayne Troy Baker voiced Reese in Tales from the Borderlands so that's pretty awesome as well Travis Willingham I don't know him but he is voicing Harvey Dent Harvey glad he's in the game Harvey Dent is um, Two-Face if you guys don't know so hopefully it'll be like him before you know he became Two-Faced because Harvey Dent was a cool character, one of the good guys before he actually became Two-Faced. So I wonder which one's going to be Two-Faced or the Harvey Dent that's in the GCPD. So anyways, we have Vicky Vale voiced by the lovely Erin Yvette, my favorite voice actress. Glad she's in the game voicing a, a great character, Vicky Vale, who is a news reporter, if you guys don't know. So that's pretty awesome as well. And we have in retail retail i probably butchered that voicing alfred pennyworth i haven't heard of him pretty sure he's gonna be good as well and then we have lieutenant james gordon voiced by murphy geyer so that's pretty cool as well james gordon gonna be in the game of course this isn't batman without commissioner gordon or it says lieutenant so i'm wondering if it's gonna be before he became commissioner or is that actually commissioner lieutenant i don't know so anyways Let's go ahead and move on. Carmine Falcone. Man, a lovely villain he is. Voiced by Richard McGonagall. McGonagall. Yeah, McGonagall. So Carmine Falcone is one of the boss faction owners of Gotham City. So interested to see what he actually does in this game. And lastly, we have Selena Kyle. Voiced by the awesome Laura Bailey. Laura Bailey voiced... Fiona in Tale from the Borderlands, as well as Gwen Whitehill, I believe, in Game of Thrones. So, pretty amazing cast. We have awesome people that I know. Troy Baker, Aaron Yvette, and Laura Bailey coming in for another Telltale series. This is some wonderful and awesome news. I'm very, very excited for the game to come out, and I'm just looking forward to it. So, these are the Batman, the Telltale series. He also said that you'll be able to control Bruce Wayne just as much as you control Batman trying to do stuff with, you know, rich with action, crime, corruption, and villainy lurking around every corner of Gotham City. 
So that's pretty awesome. Playing as some Bruce Wayne sometimes, playing as some Batman fighting the night, and that's gonna be epic. I am so excited for this game. It's gonna be great. It looks great. It has an awesome cast of characters, bringing in so many characters we love from the comics, like, you know, of course, Gordon, Carmine Falcone, Alfred, Vicky Vale, Harvey Dent. That's the least of it. Hope we see some more people in the future. I want Bullock. I really want Harvey Bullock because he's an awesome um, guy. He's very funny. So thank you all for watching this little video on the update for Batman the Telltale series. I'm Infernal Queen. If you guys did enjoy this update, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will catch you guys next time. I'm Batman. That was cringy. I'm sorry.